we're trying to figure out what value of k will make this number that I've written on the board divisible by 9. And we know a number is divisible by 9 if you sum up the digits and the, and the sum is divisible by 9. For example, if you've got 27, 2 plus 7 is 9. Now I'm going to 9 one time. So you've, I want you to realize that multiplying by 10 to the end, all that's going to do is add zeros. And multiplying by 10 to the 2 end, once again, that's just going to add zeros to your number. So my number is going to be, it's going to have 25 in it for sure because 25 times 10 to the end is going to have a 25. And we need to figure out what K is. Let's use our answers. Our answers are 9, 16, 23, 35, and 47. So 20, if K is 9, the only digits in my big number, you'll have a 25 and you'll have some zeros, however many. Then you're going to have a 9 and some zeros. I'm not sure how many. But when you, when you sum up the digits... You're just summing up the 25 and the 9. All the rest of them are zeros. I know I'm repeating myself. I just want to make sure you understand. So if you have uh, 25, and if you add 9 to it, that gives you a 4, 34. Does 9 go into 34? No. What about 16? 25 plus 16, that's 11. That's a 41. That doesn't work either. What about a 25 and a 23? Well, that's a 48. That doesn't work. What about a 25 and a 35? Well, that's a... 10, that's a 6. No. Well, it's got to be the last one. Sum of a 25 and a 47. That's 12, 4, 5, 6, 72. 9 goes into 72, so my K would have to be a 47. Hope that makes sense.